But the definition of insanity is... Hello there, Desire the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Archer. Hello there, Desire the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another Owl House reaction video. Um, I really enjoy this one, so I'm excited to get back to it. I do apologise, didn't release one last week. Um, as some of you already know, my daughter is autistic, um, and sometimes I'm not able to get a video out because, you know... I have my daughter to deal with, um, and since she's gone back to school, it's 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 a <laughs> it's not been so good. But I'm back now. Um, link down below for the Patreon if you want to support the channel. You'll get the full unedited reaction to the Owl House and lots of other different shows. Also, the link to my Twitter and Facebook and Discord. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun over on Discord, memes and all sorts. Um, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good old time. But uh, let's just get into this now and have some fun. Hexus Hold'em is the most tricky game on the Boiling Isles. Any proper witch knows how to play. Oh boy, cards! The paper rectangles that old people think are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, did you say Texas Hold'em? Isn't... Or, or did I you mishear that? Because Texas Hold'em, you need two cards in your hand. And the river. I'll play Texas Hold'em. I love the feeling of victory. It feels... fluffy? Uh, Ida, it's happening again. What's happening again? Your curse is returning! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you might want to do something about that. Christ. That was a shock though. That was a good episode as well. The last time this happened, you turned into this thing. <laughs> I know I should be repulsed, but that look is fierce. Ida! You're right, you're right. We need to head to the market. Market! I'm gonna steal everything that's not nailed down! Before we go, <laughs> would anyone like to play one more hand of Hexus Hold'em? Ah, Hexus Hold'em, okay, okay. Rules of that are very different, so I yeah. <sighs> Which I'm about to become if you don't open up, Martin! Sorry, Ida. I was up all night poison tasting, and for some reason, I don't feel great. I'm all out of my juice. Well, that'll be the poison. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Why Why is he wearing a... Is it a tinfoil hat? Or is it like a beaker of some sort? Like a weird slumber party. <laughs> Gus and I have never been to one. You need at least three people, and... I'm three people. I mean, we are three people, and we're way better than them. <laughs> Sorry you couldn't get an invite to The Conjuring, Willow. Only real witches allowed. Oh my god, you're not invited to my party. I mean, it's Mean Girls. Not that I've ever seen that movie. But, I mean, isn't that what it is? That they're just mean to each other. Martin! Well, gee, why'd you wait to re-up till now? I've been very busy. Yeah, busy playing Hexus Hold'em. She's <laughs> obsessed with it. I am not obsessed. You're playing it right now! <laughs> Am I winning? You know, I wouldn't suggest this to just anybody. But if you... Oh, God, I love Ida. She's great, isn't she? That's the thing about this show. I don't think there's a character I don't like. Even Amity, although she seems, you know, I don't want to say bitchy, but she seems quite mean. Um, I still, there's something about her that I like, and I'm excited to find out a bit more about her. Um... But yeah, like Ida, she she's she is sassy, and I really like that. She's one of my favorites. The moon is rising into place. Looks like the a celestial skull. powers only align once a year. Oh, I can't believe I finally have enough friends for a moonlight conjuring. Thank you, Luz. Did Ida say it was okay? Um. Yes. yes. She said yes. <laughs> I knew it. We can do it at the Owl House as long as we don't make a mess or touch anything and never bring up that we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're the Seems legit. It's oh bless her. I mean, I understand. I wanted to do it though. I mean, if it was my child, I'd probably be angry. But still, at the same time, like you understand why. Okay, she's gone. Right. I'm a sneaky sneakster. I've got leaves in my pants. <laughs> and I like it. Company, hooray! Finally, someone to listen to my stories. Okay, my time has oh. now. This show is really, really funny. Again, it does give off those Gravity Falls vibes. Um, another really good show. If you haven't seen Gravity Falls, it is amazing. Uh, but I'm assuming you have, given that you're watching this. And it's, I'm pretty sure one of the writers is involved in this somehow. And he plays the owl as well. But yeah, Gravity Falls and this have similar vibes. And I really, really, really like that. Like this strangely buff little man? <laughs> I'm half beef, half bob. Yes! He's perfect! That's not exactly what I meant by beautiful. 
Okay, Buffo it is. Yes! Tonight he shall be risen! Wait, so they're gonna bring Buff... Beef Bob. Buff Beef Bob, is that it? To life. This is gonna be fun! Did the entire house just hiccup? Little Buff Guy, what did you do? A real man never takes accountability! <laughs> no, I think, I think I may have been in the house by accident! No! That's what I say to that. Real men take accountability. That is some BS. That is funny though. Real men don't apologize. <laughs> what is even a real man? Do you know what I mean? Isn't a man just a man being a man doing what he does and takes accountability for his bullshit actions? The same as anybody else. How do oh. we do that? Willow, Gus, hold hands again. Controlling it with the power of friendship. <laughs> the moon. Probably the moon. This is amazing. What do we do now? On the one hand, we should probably stay put. On the other hand, we've got a giant walking house and should totally take it on a joyride. Stay put. Stay put. Don't make it worse than it already is. Because it it is bad. <laughs> Yes, Mom, I'm going to a Moonlight Conjuring. No, Mom, you can't come. And yes, Mom, it's sad that you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's the old thing of, you know, sending a, a letter attached to a pigeon or something, isn't it? That's, that, that is funny. A thousand snails? What kind of game are you playing? Capitalism, where everyone wins except you. Hey! Just go full evil monster and rip them to shreds. Then take the potion afterwards. <laughs> Job's done. You've saved ten snails. You're saving money, really. It's it's a good thing, this murder. <laughs> Throw them over the cliff. <laughs> Alrighty, kids. Here's the end of your short little lives. Wait, 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 wait. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life? Tossing kids from cliffs? Actually, yes. It's been my dream since I was a boy. <laughs> oh. I was a strange child. Clearly, that is that is some messed up dream you've got there, friend. Next to Ida, you're the most powerful witch I know. No offense, Gus. No, not at all. I know what I'm about. <laughs> I love Gus. He's so good, isn't he? He's, he's what's the word? He's so I've I've forgotten the word. The word has escaped us, but he's just so heartwarming. That's the word I'll go with. Um, he's just he's just a lovely little boy. <laughs> can stop me. I can still bite your ankles. You don't think I know who you are, Ida, the Owl Lady? <gasps> That's right. I've seen your wanted posters around here. I wonder how much the Emperor's Coven would pay me to hand you over. <laughs> well, exactly what's on the, the thing. Did you not read it? It says reward. And it's got like a hundred... Is it a million snails? That's how much they pay? I mean, that's common sense, mate. You just read the leaflet, innit? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't mean to step on this victory, but we gotta get home before uh, Ida does. I mean, why is he wearing the patch then? Just to look cool. Surely that's gonna, like, doing this, you're not gonna... Like, that feels weird for me. Oh, that is, that is funny. Curse you, witch! Curse you, <laughs> boy! I'll have my revenge. Tiplet Tibli Grinhammer the Third! <laughs> I guess that revenge isn't gonna go well. Oh, Tibbly Tibblet Grimhammer the Third. What a name. Boy, uh -oh. you are so busted. Oh man. You held a moonlight conjuring. I did. And you animated my house. My house! Yes! No, don't punish Luce. We're the ones who pushed her to do the conjuring. If you're gonna eat me, just do it now! <laughs> Oh, this kid is gold. He's so funny. Everything that comes out of his mouth is just brilliant. <laughs> what? 
Oh, that was a good episode. I really enjoyed that. I think this is the funniest one so far. Uh, is it Gus? Is that his name? The, the elf boy? He's really good. I like him. He's super funny. I, I like the fact that um, Luce might have some power. Um, obviously, with the three of them put, connecting the hands together. But with Ida saying at the end there, like that's obviously some some um, powerful stuff. Whatever the line was, that that's not what it was, that's for sure. Um, like I, I'm assuming it's hinting at that. I know they went down the chosen one route for an episode, which I'm glad they didn't stick with because that to me that's boring. I'd rather a person learn something than know just oh well it's the chosen one and they're perfect at everything because that's that that's not. It, it's just to me that's personally that's bad writing i'd rather have a good story about a person who goes through things struggles but at the end comes through and like that that's more appealing to me so i'm assuming that that the, the going that route with it loose it's just, just developing powers herself by being around witches and, and stuff like that which is really really appealing but yeah this episode was super funny i love the fact that they made the house walk i did want to see the beefy bob um, come to life but what i got was infinitely better i love the eye patch joke <laughs> when he pulls it up and he's, he's both eyes are working fantastic um and i love that they mentioned he does um curse again i thought it was going to be another one and done episode where it's never brought up again uh, again i love that in a show where they bring stuff back i know it was just the previous episode but i'm glad that that they kept that going and it wasn't just for the sake of one episode if that makes sense uh, but yeah, this I'm going to say it, this is my favourite episode so far. I'm really excited to see a bit more of Amity. Um, but yeah, this 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 was really, really good. Uh, thank you very much for your patience and understanding. Um, not getting an episode out last week. I obviously want to get these episodes out as quickly as I can because I really enjoy the show. So thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it. Um, and I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again soon for more of the Owl House reaction videos.